Welcome back to this CKAD tips number four. Here we will show you how we can troubleshoot some of the pods malfunctionality and then fix them, try to fix them. And what are the different ways how we can observe a pod? So let me begin by opening my terminal. And if you can see right now, I'm not using Karakora, but you can have this in the Karakora. So I'm using an installed version in my machine. So let me increase the font size so that it's visible. So this is running Minikube in my local machine, right? There's a virtual machine under which the Minikube is running. That is Ubuntu version 8.04 LTS. All right, so now let me see what all I have. Mm, so I say okay, get pods, no resources available, fine. So I will create a pod. So you know how we can create a pod. So we can have cube cuttle. K is basically the alias for cube cuttle. So I have done that already. So I just wanted to show you how it looks like if you have to do that. So if you say alias K cube cuttle, uh, then you don't have to type cube cuttle again and again. So we have done that. So it's convenient for me. So I say K run busy. So that's the name of the pod I'm telling. And then what is the image? It is busy box. Let's just make it so simple. And this you can also have, let's say, tag alongside with an image. So that's how typically Docker image works. So you have an image and then the tag name. So you can have version one, version two, version three. So let's say I'm using version two. And it says the pod busy box is created, right? Now the thing is that it looks like that these things are working, right? Uh, so which means that I try to create a pod and it got created. The story behind it is actually not. And I'll tell you why it is not and how do you find it is not, right? So this BusyBox created means the API verified that my command is correct and I ideally should be able to create a pod, right? That's how the message looks like. But let's see. If I say K get pods, It'll show you, it will show you all the pods and their statuses. And clearly the status says that there is some issue, right? And we don't know yet what is that issue is about because it's too small to understand there is an issue. So we can go inside the pod and then see what exactly is the, is the issue. But to do that, you can say K describe. If I do this, K describe, and you say pod that is busy, that the name of the pod um, and then you need to say what is the object so it's po busy now let me use the less command okay so that it comes one by one so you can see that that's the first page of the pod right um, it basically uses a container image busy box with the tag v2 uh, image id everything looks fine and then i say enter and it goes ahead and step by step it shows the pages However, in the event section, you have something uh, interesting. You can see that uh, it successfully assigned default busy box to the mini cube, right? That's the first um, thing. And then the second thing is that it's trying to pull the image. And the third one is what warning to is talking about, right? It says failed. And that is where the message is important, right? Like it's failed to pull the image busy box v2, right? Um, because the error is um blah 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 it's not found this image is not a valid image name right so what we can do over here we can modify this and you can see that there is an error while trying to pull the image because the name of the image has a problem right so that's why it is not working okay so even if i have got something like uh, my status said that pod is created but actually that pod is no more working. So if you see again the pod status, it says image pull back off. It keeps trying some of the things, right? So you see a different message. It was error in image and then now it is image pull back off. So obviously, definitely we need to do something to fix that. Now there are a couple of ways you can delete the whole pod and then recreate it or you can modify an existing pod. There are certain value you can change in an existing pod. And to change something in an existing pod, you can use kedit, right? That's the easiest way to do it. Or else you can use the command prompt uh, to do that. So let's use kedit. 
uh, k edit and then i say odd busy box and it can be done in against deployment against services so that's why you need to define the object here it is pod and i say the pod name is busy and then it opens the the pod definition in a yml file and you are you need to remember that you are now modifying a live object right an object which is running at this point in time now we know that there is an issue with the image thing right there's a problem in the image so we'll search with that in vim you use this slash to search and then say image and it takes you to the place image and you put enter and it stays there now if you are in the insert mode by pressing i and then come over here and see that the busy box spelling is correct colon v2 may not be right one so you should i should ideally be verifying that and then you come out of that by wq that is save and ex exit and now it says that pod is edited so if it if you are modifying something which is not allowed then it will give you an error it will come back to the vi and if you try again it will come out of that and say that you cannot edit but we are editing and it it is accepting that edit which means it has changed something in the backend system so let's say get pods now you can see that the state has somehow changed from image pull back off to completed so let's see what exactly um, the describe uh, thing says about right so let's now rem open it in full so we see that there are events available right so and then uh, it says that there are events uh, available to an unknown thing but this time this pod should be up and running you can see the status is running right uh, because it did not have the error right so you can see that uh, container busy box is already present in the image right and it basically did try a couple of times so that's why you see a couple of the things but my pod is actually running at this point in time so we could we could observe pod in a couple of different ways. One is by saying describe, so which basically gives you the, the detail about metadata, which we are seeing now. One is we can say get pod. So you say k, k get pod busy. And then you just tell that, hey, I want to give an output in YAML. So you can give the output in YAML, in JSON, whichever format you like. So YAML, YAML is more human readable. So you can see that it's nice clean uh, thing, doesn't have extra thing. Uh, what happens here in the container image busy box is that um, this, and then what is that name of the uh, image is a busy, busy box and then name is busy. That's a container name. And then the volume mount, blah, blah, blah. So all this is fine, all, all fine. So you can't modify it. You can probably take this and then recreate one more container out of that uh, file so that could be an issue uh, thing you if you might want to do that so for example if you want to copy a pod and then create the another pods exactly the same way that pod was created and if you haven't used any devops pipeline where your yaml file is being stored you can take the uh, existing object generate the yaml file modify it according to your need and then recreate the object so that's also another way of doing things. Um, so definitely k get pods, right? So if I say that, you get crash loop back off. So there are some issues going on in that. So we can say that, um, where is the warning? V2, it's, it's something like uh, not working. So that, pod is really troublesome so let's now create something which is kind of um, okay at this point in time using the same image so if i say run busy to image busy box and then i say restart never and then i will also do some sleep make sure that my pod is running right and uh, these T-A-R-T, there's a spelling mistake, so I just need to put R here in the right place and then the pod is created. So I'll say K get busy too, and this shows the 
pod but i need to say pod and it says running right and then say k describe um not g so k describe pod busy 2 and i get the busy 2 is container period and then status looks fine so this is the perfect container you can think of right so with this i want to end the the little troubleshooting for pod uh, and then hope you have enjoyed this thank you very much